Hello everybody, Raj Rodwani here, President of Contact Centre World. Welcome to this online event, all about the Members' Choice Awards, the ultimate award for industry vendors. Here's what we're going to cover in the next few minutes. We're going to cover about Contact Centre World, so you know a little bit about who we are. We're going to also then talk about the Members' Choice Awards overview and focus on the benefits, then go into a demo and then go through some questions. And we'll also at the end have an opportunity for you to ask us additional questions. So let me just start off by telling you a little bit about us, just in case there's some gaps in your knowledge of Contact Centre World. Well, we are the Global Association for Contact Centre and Customer Engagement Best Practices. We were established back in 1999. And today we have over 200,000 members all around the world. If you look at our geographical split, a third of them are in the Americas, a third Europe, Middle East and Africa, and a third Asia Pacific. We help our members network with each other, just like you can with tools like LinkedIn. You can connect, you can send messages, you can also chat online. Our website is updated absolutely every single day. So we have lots of news, articles, tips, research, jobs, lots of opportunities, lots of information continuously being updated. And for vendors, there's also an opportunity for you to provide content. We also run the most prestigious and the biggest industry awards programs. We've been doing that for 15 years and every single year we have about 75 plus nations competing for the most prestigious top ranking performer awards. We're also the producer of several industry programs. We develop top place to work, rate our service, what drives you crazy at work. These are all other programs that we'd encourage you to take a look at. We've been producing benchmarking data since 2003. So we have data on contact centers, different stats, mostly from award-winning contact centers around the world, so looking at the elite. We also run the, the highest rated industry events. Pre-COVID, for 15 years, we've been running the highest rated live events all around the world. Now, we've brought them all online. Okay, so let's take a look at the Members' Choice Awards. Let's give you a very quick overview of what the program is. It's a program that has been designed for industry vendors. Those of you who sell products and services to contact centers, customer service centers, help desks, etc. This is a program for you. It's very, very easy to enter, as you'll see from the demo. It's 100% online. It's based on feedback, feedback from your customers. It's also very low cost to enter. We made it very, very affordable for any organization, whether you're a global entity or just operating and starting out in a local market. We also made it so that companies can enter multiple categories. For example, we recognize a lot of organizations these days might sell a variety of solutions. They might sell everything from artificial intelligence to ACDs, to workforce management, to quality solutions, recording, a whole range of different solutions. Let's now talk a bit about the benefits. So why enter this program in the first place? There's lots of awards out there. What makes this different? Well, firstly, it helps you differentiate from your competition. The marketplace for contact center solutions, for help desk solutions, for customer experience solutions is very, very busy. You want to stand out. Yes, there's lots of awards you can enter, but you want to stand out from from the rest based on customer feedback and we'll talk about that it's very fast and easy to participate and deploy in fact deployment of the in, an entry in a program takes literally minutes as you'll see so you enter the program deploy it and then you're good you get feedback you can act upon what is beautiful about this program is you get real good feedback honest feedback on how your products your services your solutions are being seen by your customers Customers are going to be asked to give you ratings on a variety of different areas and you get that feedback. You can act on it. You can see where your strengths are so you can continue building on them. And also you can look at the, the weaker areas and you can start to address those. And it is based on honest feedback because customers are asked to tell us who they are. You don't get to hear um, and see the customers names directly. So it means customers can be very, very open and honest. It's not like them coming to you and saying, hey, your products are great. They tell us that. We then filter out who said it. So you just get to see all the scores from customers. It gives the customer confidence that 
they don't have to say nice things about you they can be honest now hopefully they're probably going to say amazing things about you guys but you know it's one of those those things that if you go to somebody directly they're probably going to say nice things about you if you go to a third party they may have a slightly different story so you want to get honest feedback it's incredible value okay it's really really good value it's a low cost entry um, program incredible value because you don't just get the chance to win an award but you get this amazing feedback you can act on it's all about continuous improvement you also get recognized by the global association what better way to say to your potential customers and your existing customers hey we won an award from contact center world the global association for our industry and it's based on our customers absolutely brilliant okay let's talk about it and let's go into how to enter and look at the results so I'm going to take you through a, qu a quick demo now and we'll have a look at some of the steps. I'm going to disappear off screen as I share my screen and then I'll come back at the end with some questions. So let's take a look at how you get into Members Choice Awards. First thing you want to do is to log in and you can go to the top right hand side of the website and log in. I've already logged in here and when you're logged in there is a go to the award section there is a link for the Members Choice Awards. When you get there, you have two options, home and register. Once you've actually registered on Contact Center World for the Members' Choice Awards, you'll have a few more options. And the way the program works is we ask you to register some information about which award categories you want to enter and what solutions you have. We then translate this into a number of questions that we ask our members and your customers so that they can score and rate you. So there's a couple of options here. You can register from the top or you can click on this register link here. Now when you register, there's a couple of steps that we need to go through. The first one is select which categories you want to enter from the list. So if, for example, you sell analytics, you sell chat tools or headsets or workforce management, you can cho choose up to three of those. They're included in the entry price. Now if you say, well, I also have another two or three of these other options you can add them in there is a small additional fee for additional categories step two you tell us where in the world you sell these solutions we've broken the world into three broad categories Americas Europe Middle East and Africa and Asia Pacific so if you're a global company you might want to compete in three regions in which case you'll choose all of those if you're a local company you might just want to choose one of those regions Step three, you then pay your entry fee. You can either pay online, in which case you have immediate access to the program, or you can request an invoice. Step four, we then ask you to go onto the page on the website and you confirm your company details. So here I am, I've already registered, and I'm gonna show you some of the, the options you now have before we just had a home and register now you have home update registration payment this will be in red if you haven't paid distribute survey and survey results now when I click on update registration the system will show me what I've actually registered so in this example I've registered an ACD solution I've called it for the purposes of this this demo ABC cloud tech I have 10 customers in total and of those 10 customers they each have an average of a thousand users so that's 10,000 and it's a cloud-based solution I have the option here of selecting is it on-premise in the cloud or both I also registered that we have a help desk software solution I called it solution a we have a thousand customers and a million users amongst those customers and it's cloud-based only if I want to add additional regions and additional solutions say for example I sell headsets in Asia Pacific I choose Asia Pacific choose headsets and I'll call it my headset now I have two main customers because I'm a distributor and I don't know how many users they have but I'm going to put not applicable and this is basically I'm going to say it's a, it's an on-premise solution because 
it's really just something that people buy and use in their premises, not in the cloud. Then I click update registration. And this is the same process that you would go through. So now I've updated my registration. I've got three solutions. I'm allowed up to three in the same cost. Three solutions. I'm ready to distribute my survey. I can update registration here. I can go to payment outstanding. I can distribute survey. Now payment outstanding is shown because I've actually increased the number of regions as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and it's going to show me that okay I need to pay for the APAC region. Each region has its own entry fee. So if you're a global company you might want to enter all three regions or if you're a local company you enter just one or two. Here you can see the fees. So entry fee for Americas is 595 for APAC 595 and EMEA 595. This is all in US dollars. I have three categories in each region. So because I chose APAC as an extra region, I will pay this 595 and I can choose two other products that I sell in Asia Pacific. If I have made an error, I just click on remove and I can remove it from the shopping cart. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click to distribute survey. When I click on this link, I have some information. I actually have a link here that I can send my customers. I can also go here and send this link. And we've also created some banners for you as well. So you can actually click on this link here. You can put these banners on your website. There's a link to download these. There's a download banner here. Put those on your web page. You can put this in your signature. And this tells all your customers you've been nominated for the 2020 Members Choice Awards. We've also got some suggested emails you can send out, banners you can put on social media, and we give you some instructions how to use them. Okay, so we looked a little bit about distributing survey. I've sent my customers an email, I've put it on my website, I've put it on social media. I'm inviting my customers to, to come and click on it. Okay, so I'm a customer. I've got an email from you, your organization to say, hey, come and vote for us. And I like your product, so I'm going to think, yeah, why not? I'll give you some feedback, and I'd love you to win this award. So when I get the email, the first option I have is which country am I based in? It will default to where the user is based, but they have the option of changing this. So I'm going to click Continue, and the next thing I'm going to say is, well, which solution? Well, I use ABC Cloud Tech from Contact Center World. At the top of the page, it reminds me what I'm actually voting for and for what solution. So ABC Cloud Tech from Contacts in the World nominated for best ACD solution. Then I get asked a few questions. First one is how long have I been using this solution? This is really good data for you and for us because it gives us some, some useful information as to um, you know your customers and, and longevity etc. So I'm really not sure because I've inherited this so I'm just going to click not sure. Next question. Are you an employee of Contact Center World? Well, this is where your employees are not allowed to vote for you. So I'm going to say no because I'm a customer of theirs. Next question. Are you an end user? Yes. I'm not a supplier. I'm not. A, I'm a customer, so I'm going to say yes. What is my industry sector? Again, this is all useful intelligence and data for you. I'm an insurance sector. How many staff use the solution? Oh, we've got over a thousand. Let's rate the solution now. Build, design. I'm going to say it's absolutely amazing. There is a checkbox here if I'm unable to answer. But for each one of these, I'm going to give a score from 1 to 10, where 1 is poor and 10 is amazing. Stability. You know what? I really don't know. I've only been here a few weeks, but I know it's an amazing product. I'm just going to say I'm unable to answer that. Support from the supplier. Well, They've been good. Not the best, but they're pretty good. Ease of use, actually it's amazing. Cost benefit, I didn't buy it, so I can't really answer that. Scalability, I can't answer that at this stage because I've not really had the experience of trying to expand it. Go to the next question, ease of integration with other products. It's actually pretty good, I like it. I can use it a number of things. Overall value, I actually think it's going to give it an 8 out of 10 for that one. 
And then what do I like about the solution the most? Well, I have to pick one of these, so I say customer service from the company. And I can add some comments. Then what improvements would li I like to see? This is a really good tool for customers giving you improvements on what, it, what the technology, solutions, product services that you have, how it can be improved. We often ask customers what they like, what they dislike, but we often don't say, well, what else would you like us to improve? Here's a great opportunity. So they have a text box here. I'm going to say none for that. Would you recommend this solution to anyone else? Yes, absolutely. And then the last information actually brings up some information as to who you are. This is to verify that you're the right person. When you get to the bottom, click Submit Survey. You are done as a user. Now let's go and look at what the feedback looks like for you as an entrant in this program because it's not just about the awards. You want to get some amazing feedback as well. So I'm going to go to the feedback from Contact Center World. And when I'm logged back in, because I'm on the program, I get the option to go to survey results. When I'm there, I can actually see different time periods. Now, we're on the 2020 Members' Choice Awards, so I'm going to click on that. And I want to see what feedback I've had from my ACD solution. So as soon as I log in, I get some nice graphical representation of the data my scores and all the rating areas. So quality solution, 10 out of 10. Stability, 10 out of 10. Scalability, 10 out of 10. Ease of use, hmm, that's looking a little bit low. That is only three out of 10. So there's maybe some things that we need to look at in terms of product development or training to make sure they're easy enough for people to use. As I scroll down here, I have other options. What do you like most about the solution? There is some free format comments. Again, what we don't want to do is to tell you who said this because that will negate the, the value of the honest feedback. We'll put all the comments in there. There's improvements as well that your customers will suggest. And you can see there's a date and a timestamp. Then we go on to would you recommend this solution to anybody else? and you can see some some data now if you do this over successive periods what you'll actually get is you'll get some differences so you can see scores from this period and you can also see scores from other periods so you can see where you're improving where you're staying the same and maybe areas that you're falling back on and those are the really important areas you want to say well customers are starting to notice a difference they're not doing this anymore they're not rating us high here let's go and talk to them and find out what we're doing now that's the feedback that's the really valuable feedback information that you get what we then do is at the end of the year we're going to look at all the data from all the organizations who have participated and if you're in the market for selling ACD solutions, we're going to look at your overall scores and we're going to compare them to everybody else who provides ACD solutions and the same type of same type of solution, whether it's hybrid, whether it's on-premise, whether it's uh, in the cloud. And we're then going to give out industry awards based on who has the highest overall scores. So the good thing about this is you not only get valuable feedback and data, but you can also win the awards for having the best ACD, best analytics, best chatbots, best voice solution, etc. All based on customer feedback. And that's what makes this a really, really credible program because it's not a, a team of consultants or a team of product evaluators looking at your solution and saying hey I like your solution it's a good one these are actual users you're getting the, the feedback from the users and you have the opportunity of winning the award so that's really the demo as you can see it's really really straightforward in a matter of minutes I set up the program I deploy my feedback links for my customers and I start pulling in data and I can act on it 
And the great thing about this program is that once I've signed up to it, I can go back in there any time and I can actually make some changes. I can go in on a continual basis and see what my customer feedback is like. And I can act on it. So that's a quick demo. It is a quick demo. There's not a lot to show, except it's really, really valuable. Okay, we're going to go back to um, see me. I'll put on my camera again and then we'll carry on. I'm back. I hope that demo was really useful and gave you some really good information about how easy the program is to enter, how easy it is to roll out to your customers to invite them to give you feedback. And also, just as important as the award is the information, how valuable that information is to your company. The feedback you're getting on your solutions and the, the intelligence you're getting from your marketplace. So I'm going to spend a few minutes just to talk about some common questions that will help you hopefully give you the overall picture about the program. One common question is how much does it cost and how to pay? Well, as we mentioned earlier, there is a fee of 595 US dollars that gets you into one region of the world like Americas or it could be Asia Pacific and three categories. So if you sell ACDs, workforce management, quality solutions, you just pay $595 if you want to enter one region. If you have more solutions you want to enter and get feedback on, you just pay a small additional fee per category. If you extend to different regions of the world, then you pay that 595 for each of the three regions you want to participate in. And in terms of how you pay, you can pay online with a credit card or you can do a bank transfer, you can request an invoice. If you pay by credit card, the program is available to you immediately. So it's worth doing if you want to roll this out immediately because that way you start getting data immediately back. If you pay by invoice, once we've received payment, the program is unlocked for you to use. How soon can we see results? Well, it depends on your payment, but also it depends on when you get your first customer to give you feedback. As soon as you get one customer giving you feedback, you can start to see the results. The next question we often get asked is how many metrics? As you saw in the demo, there's a whole range of questions we ask our members and your customers to give you feedback on. And they range from easy solution to scalability, the service you give, etc. There are eight metrics that we ask for, plus two open questions. So a total of 10 different metrics we're asking your customers about. And what this means is you're getting really good data, real-time data, really good valuable data. Another question we get asked all the time is, well, how many votes do we need? I've got an example for you and I'll explain that to you. So the amount of, or the number of votes we look for is five or 5%, 5 whichever is a greater number. So here you can see two examples. If you have 10 customers, you need five votes. If you have a thousand customers, you need 50, whichever is a greater number, five or 5%. 5 if you have less than five customers, the program isn't ready for you just yet. And as you continue to grow, then you can jump into it when you've got five or more customers. Another question is closing date. Well, we've made it nice and easy for you to remember. It's the 31st of December, 2020. Very last question we often get asked is, sounds great, when can we apply? It's open now. So please take a look at the, at the Member's Choice Awards if you have any other questions, I'm going to stay on the line for a few more minutes. Please use the chat tool, which we've got available to you, or you can send me a message after this and I'll be happy to help you. We want to see you guys get some valuable data, but also win an award. So we'd love to see you in the 2020 Members' Choice Awards. Thank you for watching this presentation.